Hello, very good day to you. You may have heard that some warm weather is on its way, and well, it is, but not until the end of the week. For the time being, we still have a jet stream running across the UK, and that's bringing the changeable, unsettled weather that's pushing in from the west. Looking at the bigger picture, and you can see there's an area of low pressure that's clearing away towards the east as we go into Tuesday, but tightly packed isobars and various occluded features highlight that it's going to be a blustery, showery picture as we go through the day. Looking at the details, and there is some heavy rain affecting parts of the south southeast as we go through Tuesday morning, but that should quickly clear away. Then it's that blustery, showery picture. Some of those showers could be quite heavy, perhaps even the odd rumble of thunder, but there will be some bright or sunny spells in between those showers. Despite those sunny spells, though, temperatures are going to be down a couple of degrees to recently, only just about scraping into the low 20s towards the southeast. And when you factor in those blustery winds, it is going to feel cooler than that. As we go through the end of Tuesday, we are going to see a ridge of high pressure building from the south, and it's this that's going to dominate our weather across southern parts as we go through the rest of the week. A very different story further north, though. Here you can see there's a frontal system pushing its way across, and this is going to bring quite a bit of cloud and quite a bit of rain as well. The worst of the rain will be pushing in from the west, so we're in western parts of Scotland, which are going to bear the brunt of the rain as we go through this week. Further east, some rain is going to push its way across as we go through Wednesday, but it's going to break up a little bit, so it won't be quite as wet as further west. Elsewhere and across England, Wales and Northern Ireland, a fairly cloudy picture. There will be some showers developing, notice across parts of South Wales, southern southwestern England as well, perhaps a drier picture further east, and this is where we have the greatest chance of some bright or sunny spells. Taking a look at the details about that rain then, we are going to see totals building up, particularly across parts of southwest Scotland, perhaps up to 70 millimetres here, so likely to see a little bit of localised flooding and perhaps perhaps even some disruption to travel, some significant spray on the roads quite likely. Temperatures down a couple of degrees again on Wednesday, just about getting into the high teens towards the south and mid-teens further north. The winds won't be quite as blustery perhaps, but still a bit of a breeze around. Later on Wednesday, we're going to continue to see high pressure dominating the picture across more southern parts. Meanwhile, a, a waving front and system will continue to influence the weather across more northern parts as we go into Thursday, and our attention is then turning to this weather system. So yes, yeah, so Thursday across the northern parts of the UK likely to be quite cloudy with some outbreaks of rain, even some outbreaks of rain for North Wales and northern England, but a drier picture here uh, in the south, albeit turning cloudier through the afternoon. Meanwhile, across Scotland, and Northern Ireland turning increasingly cloudy, wet and windy as we go through the afternoon as that frontal system that I highlighted just a few moments ago pushes its way in. So some totals continuing to build up in the west here. Temperatures may be a degree or two higher compared to Wednesday, highs around 18 or 19 Celsius. And if you get any bright or sunny spells and shelter from the wind, it should feel relatively warm. But further north and west, under the cloud, the rain and the strong winds, with the risk of some gales, it could feel quite unpleasant. As we go through Friday then, the, we're going to see that frontal system continuing to influence the weather across more north-northwestern parts. Meanwhile, we're still under the influence of high pressure towards the south. So for Friday, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fine dry day across many southern areas. There'll be some high-level cloud around, so the sunshine could be quite hazy or milky at times, but on the whole, it is going to be fine and dry. A different story further north though, continuing with the cloudy, wet theme and the rain always coming in from the west. So while there will be some heavy bursts of rain across parts of Northern Ireland and eastern parts of Scotland. We'll see some rain at times. It's particularly around the western parts of Scotland where we're really going to see those totals building up. As we go through Thursday into Friday, the Western Isles could see perhaps 75 to 125 millimetres, perhaps even 150 millimetres of rain building up. So again, some flooding is quite a cause for concern and there will also be some further disruption to travel. Temperatures, generally, for many of us, will be picking up a little bit. You can see highs in the low 20s towards the south-southeast, and that's because we have some warmer air that is feeding its way in. If we look at the bigger picture again, and you can see through the end of the week and into the weekend, a frontal system continues over Scotland, but the jet stream is pushing its way northwards, and so that will allow for some warmer air to feed in from the south. So by the time that we get to the weekend, temperatures are likely to be even higher still, likely to be in the mid, possibly even high 20s. So some decent warmth on the way, which is good news if that's what you're after. Not so good news if you're looking forward to something a bit fresher for a little while longer. As we look towards the end of the week, then we will have more information on it across all of our social media channels. So do keep up to date there. Bye bye.